Alec, what would happen if a planet disappeared from our solar system? Nothing at all. Do you not understand what could possibly happen? The whole gravity system could be messed up. We could be launched into outer space. Everyone could die. There's no way that would happen. Well, Alec, we're about to find out right now. Well, what's up? My name's Zig, <laughs> and I'm from a planet in a place you call the Andromeda Galaxy. Ooh. I'm in high school, and I have this assignment to find out what will happen to your solar system's perfect harmony if it loses a planet. <laughs> so I poof one of yours away with this ray blaster and track any changes. No. Don't hey, worry. Hey, don't do that. Bad, don't do that. <laughs> sort of. So Here we go. let's give it a shot. <laughs> I'll start with the planet closest to the sun. Mercury, right? Oh, it's so small I nearly missed it. Here we go. What do you think will happen? I'm pretty sure nothing I will told happen. You. That, yeah, the planet's really small. Nothing is going to happen when any of the planets disappear. The only thing that matters is the sun. Are you sure? Because what Jupiter's huge. Yeah, but it doesn't have an effect on Earth. It's just out there. Oh, gosh. I didn't know you were this dumb. All right. Okay, with Mercury gone, how's Earth looking? Hmm, no changes in the solar system. See, I, I told you, time. Adam. It's all about gravity. Every object that has some Wait, mass attracts other thought. objects because of its gravitational Wait, force. The Dang. larger the mass, the greater the force it has. Mercury exactly. is the smallest planet in the solar system, so what? it's not too massive in space terms. The second most important factor is the distance between the objects. At 50 million miles away, Mercury oh, is it. no doubt far <laughs> from Earth, so the gravitational force between the two of them isn't that strong. Okay. Exactly. And that is why if Jupiter disappears, nothing is going to happen. Because Jupiter is so far away from Earth, it doesn't have any effect on Earth. Look at Jupiter compared to Earth. That is such more of a gravitational pull. It's going to probably slingshot Earth right into the sun. No, but Adam, the sun is literally millions and millions and millions times the size of Jupiter. So that is like the overwhelming factor of why the Earth spins around the sun. I don't know. It's actually surprising that nothing would happen. Let's it, move something on to would happen if you disappeared from Earth. I'll tell you that right now. The the entire gravitational pull the, of the entire solar system would go completely out of whack. Your belly is what is the glue to everything that exists. So thank you, Adam. Really, thank you. You're welcome. When you sneeze, the Earth loses about 10 miles per hour in its spin. This is why we only have 28 days in February, because of Adam's sneezes. Thank you for that. Disgusting. Disgusting. Let's put Mercury back and move on to Let's Venus. Let's move on to Venus. It's the hottest planet in your solar system. One day here is almost 117 Earth days. How's Mercury oh, holy smokes. Hot as a button this time. Oh, did you see that? It just froze and broke into pieces. See you. And again, nothing really changed that much. What? Well, except I told you, Earth you. Line, just lost the second brightest object to light up the night sky. Oh, second who cares? to the moon, of course. I suppose that's why they call Venus the evening star. Looks like it got way darker after sunset than it used to be. All right, I'll reassemble. So the only thing that would happen is it just gets darker at night? That's yeah, really it? That doesn't even really matter. I thought the planets were like much more important in our solar system. I guess they're not. See, tell me I'm smarter than you thought. I told no, you. No, 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 no. We only, those are the two smallest planets. We didn't move on to Mars or Jupiter or Saturn. Those planets definitely are going to have a bigger effect. Definitely don't forget about Uranus. That one's big. Assemble Venus now and head to your home planet. <laughs> Earth, the like one floating guy. rock in the system that's in that precious habitable zone. The perfect distance from your star to sustain Earth. Earth. Hey, I was just kidding. You look like I'm you were born in not gonna poof Earth away. So Woo! let's head they to the it. red planet. Yeah, Mars. Touch us. Nice. I know humans are planning to send a mission there. Would you personally want to go? Tell Absolutely me about not. it in the comments below. I would go, that sounds awesome. Let's see what'll happen when I spin the red planet just go so to, like, fast Asia. that it shoots out of the solar system. <laughs> Bye, Mom. If you think about it, if you move to Mars, you'll be the best in the world at everything. You'd be the best Fortnite player in the world. You'd be the best soccer player in the world. You'd be the best literally at everything. Weightlifter, bodybuilder, anything, basketball player. So you plan on moving by yourself? Yeah, because then I would just be the best in the world <laughs> at every single thing. So you'd go there by yourself just so you could say that you're the best at everything. Yeah, and it would be true. Now I can only say I'm the best at a couple things. Like what? Scrolling on TikTok while on the toilet. I'm really good at that. Skibbity Riz. Skibbity Ohio Riz. I gotta be at least top three. I'm top two. Hey, Mars. And no significant changes again. What? This might be good I for told Earth you, in Adam, a way. you are so dumb. There's it's a ridiculous. massive asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. What is happening? Asteroids, Ooh. as you know, 
aren't Earth's best friends. Uh oh. Jupiter holds them together with its strong gravity. Oh, but crap. from time oh. to time, they break uh -oh. free and start moving toward the sun. Uh oh. No surprise. Okay, I did have maybe have a lapse of judgment here, Adam. I maybe forgot about the asteroid belt. That could get real dangerous if Jupiter's gone. Once Jupiter's gone, those things are free balling. It is gonna be Armageddon. Some of those asteroids, I think, are like half the size of Earth. So even if just one of them hits Earth, shabing, this could get bad, bad quick. No surprise, oh really, since this, this gravitational scary. pull is impressive. Mars also has gravity to boast and acts somewhat like a slingshot uh -oh. that speeds up asteroids in the direction of Earth. So, oh. no Mars, no slingshot, and the chances of the blue planet getting hit by an asteroid go down. Wait, ah, so getting fuck. getting rid of Mars is like a good thing. That is a great point. Elon Musk, instead of going to Mars, let's blow up Mars. Write that down. Write that down. Finally, we should work for NASA. We are so smart. For, time to now. experiment with the largest planet in your solar system. Okay, Jupiter. this is where it could get dangerous. It weighs three times more than all of its neighboring planets combined. Yo, that's crazy. What? I told you. I'm gonna get this giant out of Jupiter's the system. Jupiter's huge. I know. I'll use the shrink ray and make it two billion times smaller first. Now I can just throw it like a baseball. Uh oh. Okay. I think I made a huge <laughs> mistake. With its massive Oopsies. gravitational force, Jupiter has protected Earth from asteroids and other bad. space debris for the past four and a half billion years. Now, oh, the sun's gravitational friends. pull is sending all that stuff toward the inner oh, planets, my gosh. and that includes Earth. There will also be some small changes in the orbits of other planets, but that would I be some you. thousands of years later. For now, yeah, be I gotta figure years out a way later, to get Jupiter back before the Earth is doomed. Look, look, hmm, Jupiter, I mean, Earth button? now has to like dodge oh. bullets. Okay. How it has to go one? matrix mode if ah, you want to survive. I'll just push all of them. Woohoo! Brace for impact! Yeah, we're definitely Woo. dead if Jupiter's gone. Whatever it was, it worked. The giant is now resting peacefully back in its place, and Earth is saved. <clears throat> Thank you. Sorry about that. Must have given you a real scare. I'll try I did to not be realize more Jupiter was so the important. Rest of the gas giants. It's time I to told you, Jupiter is huge. It's, did you know it's three times bigger than all the planets combined? But you're so smart, Adam. How did you know that? You're a genius. I always knew that. Oh, but now we're moving on to Saturn, which is my favorite planet. Because it's made of a lot of gas. Oh, yeah. You're a little gassy. How's your room smell right now? If I went down and check. Is that why the door is open? Inappropriate, Adam. Inappropriate. Is we that why the door is open? Talking about that. Yeah, it's to get some air flow in here. <laughs> Been real gassy today. I figured. We had Chick-fil-A earlier. It's not sitting well. And for Saturn, you can't mistake it for any other planets, thanks to those gorgeous rings. Scientists say they'll asteroids? disappear one day as Saturn's immense gravity yes. pulls them down in an icy rain. Uh-oh. But that won't be for 300 million years from now. So, no worries. Hmm. I guess I'll have to push the red button for this one. Bam. Bye -bye. And it's gone. Such a massive planet, a the second largest the in the gas. solar system can't be gone with no consequences. Look at Jupiter and Uranus. Here we go. Their orbits have slightly shifted. Uh oh my god. Uh -oh. Other than that, I think they're gonna collide. I don't see any changes to the other planets. Saturn is just too far to influence them. That's good. Wouldn't want another close call so like, like what nothing. happened when I took Let's Jupiter go. away. It Uranus seems like Jupiter was like the oh, most important Uranus, by far Adam, Uranus. planet in There's the There's no way Uranus system. does anything. I'll try oh, Uranus will definitely do something. lasso to move it out of the way. Got it. Now I'll just throw it out of the system, and see you. Shabink. Nothing so far. Looks like it's the same story as it was with Saturn. Suspicious. Uranus oh, wow. is so, Uranus so far away from the inner four planets that its disappearance has no effect on them Let's whatsoever. Let's go! But Earth, I can Earth, see that Earth, it did Earth. mess things up a bit for the outer planets. Alas, we've come to the last planet, unless you're on Team Pluto. Sorry, but I'm gonna go with NASA on its status and exclude it from today's experiment on your happy neighborhood of planets. I'm pretty sure this will have a bigger effect than we think because Uranus is the last planet on, in our solar system. So if that one moves away, then our entire gravitational pull of Earth and the sun is all gonna be distorted. So I'm pretty sure all the planets are gonna slowly start moving to fill the gap of the gravitational pull and take Neptune's spot. So Earth could move out of that green zone that he was talking about earlier where everything is safe in its perfect habitatable environment. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. Adam, how many times does this guy have to tell you that nothing's going to happen before you actually believe him? Nothing is going to happen! Did anyone ever tell you you look like an empty spray can? No. What does that even mean? <laughs> <laughs> Comment down below. Anyway, it's Neptune's turn. Beyond it, you've got the I'm Kuiper you, Belt. About to be crazy. It's a donut-shaped region of icy Whoa. objects 
and a ton of dwarf planets like Pluto. Neptune is so close to the outer edge of the solar system that I'll just kick it out. Whoa, look at the Kuiper belt, it's going crazy! Uh -oh. Without Neptune's gravitational uh -oh. pull keeping things stable, orbits are crossing and celestial uh -oh. bodies are crashing into Looks each dangerous. other. Check it out! Pluto's orbit is misshapen now, too. <laughs> Neptune Pluto. pretty much controls it as well. But it's too far away from Earth to affect it in any way. I wouldn't want anything to happen to little Pluto. So let's put the eighth planet back where it belongs. So oh, it wow, affect, and it did nothing. Okay, it didn't affect Earth. It did do nothing. It just didn't affect Earth. It only affected Pluto, which nobody cares about Pluto. There's some love for Pluto. It's, it's a planet. I think Pluto. Belongs. But I'm not ready to finish the experiment just yet. Oh, what if we get rid of all I the planets? I need to find something that would really affect life on Earth. The sun. The sun yep. is the obvious answer. Is but this the a mass and chaos from its disappearance would be too massive and irreversible. Oh my gosh. So I'll leave it where it is. What about the moon, though? Ooh. I've always had this secret dream to turn it into Swiss cheese and bite off a okay. piece. It's time. This guy sounds like you, Adam. Mm. <laughs> oh my. I had that same dream. What just happened to the Earth's oh, axis? It was a Nutella block. It's so tilted, even more than it was before. The weather down there has gone wild, too. Whoa, there Ice Age. no more seasons at all, and new Ice really? Ages are on the oh way. Oh my gosh. There's no the way ocean the tides have become much lower than they used the to be. The moon's very important. And is the planet starting to spin faster? Yep, the day now lasts only <laughs> 6 to 12 hours. Holy Actually, there's no more pull of the, the moon to slow down big. the Earth's rotation. There are also no more lunar or solar eclipses to watch. And the nights are so dark with nothing but billions of stars and Venus, which together are still way dimmer than the moon, to light the sky up. None of this sounds good for life on Earth, so I'll de cheesify your moon and put it back where it was. So the moon is the most important planet to Earth. Oh, absolutely. It controls so much of how the Earth actually operates. So how did it just coincidentally get there? That's insane that it controls that much. So without the moon, we wouldn't be here? Well, people think that the Earth used to be a lot smaller, but there was a huge asteroid that collided with it, and then a little snippet of that asteroid broke off and has now become the moon. What are the chances that happens? And then the moon is in that perfect spot where it allows us to have life on Earth. Exactly. Something's not adding up. That can't just be chance. You believe that to be chance? I do, because there's literally infinite amount, well, not literally, but there's pretty much infinite amount of planets and asteroids and suns out there. So eventually, things are going to happen. Oh, you just got lucky. We, we just got lucky. Pretty much. Comment down below what you think. It looks like out of all the planets in your sun's complex system, only Jupiter's disappearance would be a major problem for us. And the moon. Earth. So, I guess it's true what they say. The, the solar sun. system really is a delicate and harmonious balance. Not so, really. Not really. The planet even mattered except for Jupiter, the moon, and the sun. I thought for sure if one piece was removed, it would be complete chaos. I'm telling but, you, Adam, only you. Only Adam, you matter. Alex a genius. I told you. Who would have thought not having a high school diploma would work out? I still can't read, but that's not that important these days. If you guys enjoyed that video and want to watch some more awesome space facts, make sure to click this one right here.